2019 Jaguar F-Pace review. As the their first entrant within the ever-expanding SUV market, the Jaguar F-Pace is a huge critical and commercial success to the British mark. The idea of a high-riding off-roader to utilize a Jaguar badge, while recently as 10 years ago, will often have seen a stretch too much, but times are a-changing. Alongside the Range Rover Vila, it's fighting to maintain the British end up from the premium SUV market sector. And it has an amazing fight on its hands, going toe to toe with all the Alfa Romeo Stelvio, Audi Q5, BMW X3 and Mercedes-Benz GLC. Being a Jaguar, the F-Pace has become conceived to major on driving dynamics, making it technically nearer to the X and XF saloons, which it shares a substantial amount of its underpinnings. As such, Celebrate extensive using aluminium as well as other lighter weight materials in the construction, and Jaguar says you're feeling this driving. Being in accordance with the X along with the XF, certainly results from the F-Pace feeling lighter on its feel than its rivals, with all of models delivering decent performance and efficiency. It's a good starting place, although F-Pace is not as a light because it should be considering such extensive utilization of lighter weight materials. Should I buy a petrol or diesel Jaguar F-Pace? Unsurprisingly, the F-Pace is strong in diesel form, it had been engineered through the outset to create great use of send-out efficient four-cylinder oil burner. Entry level would be the 2.0-litre 163 horsepower diesel rear-wheel drive model matched which has a manual gearbox, with official figures of 59.2 miles per gallon and CO2 emissions of 126 grams slash km although it's the slowest inside the range requiring 10.2 seconds to perform the 0 to 62 miles per hour benchmark sprint. Of the bunch, the very best compromise would be the more powerful 180 horsepower 2.0 litre diesel, called 20D, that has a smooth shifting automatic feels a lesser compromise, the 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint takes 8.5 seconds. Yet Jaguar still claims 55.4 miles per gallon and 129 grams slash km of CO2. There's also a 240 horsepower twin turbo edition of the identical diesel, badge 25D. If your allowance can stretch to just one of the 3.0 litre V6S then you'll appreciate any additional refinement together with speed. The 300 horsepower diesel requires 6.2 seconds for your 0 to 62 miles per hour dash. The 380 horsepower supercharged petrol just 5.5 seconds. The downside in the latter can be an eye-watering 31.7 miles per gallon official average. In relation to its petrol engines, your choices are less generous, and they are generally aimed at drivers more and more focused on performance. So you get yourself a single option in the 2.0 litre petrol and genium engine and that is offered with 250 horsepower and 300 horsepower. These are badge 25 tons and 30 tons. In response to the question, for anyone who is after range and economy, the diesel may be the only choice worth investigating. The petrol models are wonderful driver's cars, but prior to the hybrid F-Pace appears, you'll want to head for the diesel models for anyone who is looking to the best overall compromise. How does the Jaguar Ref Pace drive? As you'd expect, the engineers involved in perfecting the Jaguar Ref Pace did a great job using its dynamics. Unlike a Land Rover or Range Rover, that has to have great off-roading capability to use DNA, the F Pace doesn't carry this baggage, and therefore ought to be treated as a possible off-roader in as much since it will tow a horse box up a muddy hill, and take care of a little light green landing, ably assisted by its intelligent all-wheel drive system. On-road is the place it matters towards the F-Pace and that is where it scores reasonably well. It's blessed with good steering as well as a suspension setup that's sufficient at delivering great cornering once you're used towards the lofty driving position. The ride quality is quite wheel dependent. On 22-inch wheels, it struggles with bumps and ruts, while feeling fidgety on motorways. On 20-inch wheels, it's really a much calmer affair although does not do it really calm down and feel as comfortable because you at his rivals including the Mercedes-Benz GLC. While the F-Pace boasts the use of alloys as much as 22 inches in diameter, we'd suggest you avoid, 
It's a comfier car on 20 inches so we reckon your vehicle handles better together, too, specifically if you opt to the adaptive suspension system. Jaguar F-Pace, large, tech-filled cabin. No rivals can match the Jaguar on the subject of making the cabin feel sporty. It's been meant to make your feeling apart from the driving experience, having a high shoulder line despite its lofty driving position. While the construction is acceptable, the richness from the plastics used for your interior lags behind its key rivals, especially the Audi. There are lots of hard surfaces and also the switch gear isn't blessed together with the same amount of well dumped satisfaction. The boot itself is huge and there's a good amount of room within the cabin likewise, with rear headroom only slightly impeded for taller passengers when you've got a panoramic roof installed. You can even have reclining rear seats installed as a possible optional extra for an additional touch of luxury. Jaguar F-Pace Gadgets and Technology We are impressed with all the tech to be had, though. Jaguar's in-control Touch Pro multimedia product is a significant leap above the firm's earlier offerings and represents a huge step forward in relation to its, its responsiveness. Is it on the cutting edge of what's available, though? Number, in car, Wi-Fi along having number of apps, are stored on hand to generate best utilization of the car's systems, while other clever features provide an activity key, a waterproof, wearable car key, along with the powered tailgate and that is standard on all models. Jaguar F-Pace SVR, making the fight towards the Porsche Macan. In March 2019, the long hour e range topping Jaguar F-Pace SVR, below, was unveiled. It's powered by the 5.0-liter supercharged V8 that F-Type owners could be more than knowledgeable about. It develops 550 horsepower, and Jaguar says it's going to dash from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 4.3 seconds. Unlike its German rivals, its maximum speed isn't limited, either, therefore it tops out at 176 miles per hour. It features upgraded suspension, a brand new rear electronic differential to regulate the power, torque vectoring, and also a quick shift automatic transmission. To make it fit the bill, the SVR receives a revised and clean looking nose and also a rear bumper that houses four exhaust tailpipes and also a mini flip-up spoiler. Standard wheels are 21-inch alloys, but 22-inch wheels are a solution. Inside, you will get slimline leather sports seats with lozenge quilting plus an embossed SVR logo. Up to four upholstery color combos could be spexed. It's on the market to order on the summer of 2019 at £74,835. Broad variety of petrol and diesel engines. Rear and all-wheel drive permutations. V6 engines provide you with the most performance. For a brand name synonymous with performance, it's not surprising that each on the Jaguar Ref paces three diesel and two petrol engines are turbocharged or supercharged. Lower power diesels are available having a manual gearbox and rear wheel drive, but further within the range of mechanical transmission and all wheel drive are standard. The auto's changes are very smooth they're barely perceptible, as well as the F-Pace doesn't struggle deciding which ratio to decide on, a difficulty on some rival's gearboxes. Economical diesel choices The tastes F-Paces you observe on the path are powered by versions on the four-cylinder Ingenium class of turbocharged diesels. Entry point could be the 2.0-litre 163 horsepower version, exclusively paired using a six-speed manual and rear-wheel drive, heralded because F-Paces efficiency champion, with claims of approximately 59.2 miles per gallon and CO2 emissions of 126 grams slash km. Needless to mention this could be the slowest model inside the lineup, using a top speed of 121 miles per hour and, despite 380 newton meters of torque provided by 1750 revolutions per minute, a 0 to 62 miles per hour duration of 10.2 seconds. Offering more urgency could be the 180 horsepower version of the identical engine, badge 20D. It's still rear-wheel drive as standard but now together with the slick 8-speed automatic. 
An increase in torque to 430 newton meters sees the 0 to 62 miles per hour time dip to 8.5 seconds, while top speed slightly higher at 129 miles per hour. We found this motor being perfectly adequate and, considering its running costs are incredibly much less than the V6 power plants being offered, there isn't much reason to travel elsewhere if you do not want to pick out one with the higher trims. Pity it doesn't sound particularly inspiring. If you need the other traction afforded by all-wheel drive, the 20D AWD can be obtained with both manual and automatic transmissions. Both have 129 miles per hour top speeds and require 8.7 seconds with the 0 to 62 miles per hour dash. Nevertheless, the manual offers marginally lower running costs. That same basic four-cylinder diesel also features inside the 25D AWD but is currently twin turbocharged for 240 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque for any linear power delivery from 1500 revolutions per minute. It's appreciably quicker having a 0 to 62 miles per hour use of 7.2 seconds as well as a top speed of 135 miles per hour. Topping the diesel range would be the twin turbo 3.0 liter V6 fitted for the 30D AWD. Admittably it is a nicer unit to operate a vehicle, primarily because along using its 300 horsepower it features a massive 700 newton meters of torque from 1500 revolutions per minute. That means 0 to 62 miles per hour in 6.2 seconds, significantly quicker, and thanks on the pair of additional cylinders it sounds better likewise. It's smoother to operate a vehicle and has a somewhat more purposeful burble, though it's not quite F-type amounts of sonorous sound. Top speed is 150 miles per hour. Trio of petrol powered options. If you don't cover the amount of annual mileage to warrant a diesel, then one in the three petrol choices for your F pace may appeal. First up is often a turbocharged 2.0 liter, four cylinder slightly confusingly badged 25 tons AWD. Not only does it come operating wheel drive, an automated gearbox is additionally standard. There's 250 horsepower on tap, although at 365 newton meters at 1,200 revolutions per minute, it's the lowest amount of torque from the range. Top speed is 135 miles per hour, as the 0 to 62 miles per hour test is dispatched in the brisk 6.8 seconds. It'd be simple to discount this engine and side face in the larger, more refined six-cylinder option. Nonetheless, it's actually very secure, revving cleanly too. 500 revolutions per minute and offering a quieter cabin on the go than you get inside the diesel range. Despite its turbocharged nature, this engine's power delivery is extremely smooth and also the throttle pedal is nicely responsive providing you keep the revs up, otherwise it is a bit flat. Our only complaint is that it never really feels particularly quick, as well as the automatic gearbox hesitates on top to bottom shifts if you're pressing on. The middle ground is inhabited because of the 3.0 tons engine, again available for an AWD auto only, but boasting a little more power as opposed to 25 tons. Here you obtain 300 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque, aforementioned coming in at higher revs versus the lower output engine, at 1500 revolutions per minute, which implies 0 to 62 miles per hour takes just 6 seconds. There isn't a great deal of an economy penalty to purchase this engine but it really costs a tad bit more to buy inside the first place only for a marginal performance gain. Ultimate F-Pace performance comes from your supercharged 3.0 liter V6, a unit lifted directly on the F-Type and makes 380 horsepower with torque of 450 newton meters. Just 5.5 seconds are required to the 0 to 62 miles per hour. While top speed is 155 miles per hour, it sounds the part too, having a purposeful growl at low speeds making way for just a bellowing well whenever you wring its neck. Acceleration is instant and ferocious. We just wonder how much time it will be prior to supercharged V8 engine inevitably finds its way underneath the bonnet. If you're considering towing using the Jaguar Ref Pace. Brake towing weights start at 2,000 kg for just 2.0 litre manual cars, rising to 2,400 kg for those other models. One with the sportiest SUVs to push. Confidence inspiring steering setup.
feels more composed around the smaller wheels. The F-Pace can be an incredibly accomplished drive irrespective of specification. It manages this by using a clever list of chassis components that actually work in harmony use a rear wheel drive character to the most part, only diverting around half the free torque to your front wheels when your vehicle senses it's required. We found this method uncanny rolling around in its performance, with Jaguar's first SUV genuinely efficient at driving together with anything inside the class in need of a Porsche Macan, plus the latter isn't quite as big or comfortable. There's a titanic volume of grip offered. No matter how quick you corner we doubt you'll test the extremities in the wide tires adhesion. It seems to operate a vehicle better in case you avoid each inch wheels recommended as well as the F-Pace's composure might be more apparent using the taller sidewalls you will get on smaller wheels. We found 20 inch items to become ideal, with cheaper tires to exchange too. Its steering is finely honed, with sufficient feedback to inspire confident cornering and weighting that feels natural to all situations. The handling balance is excellent too, which further adds for the assured nature from the F-Pace. It always feels solid and composed, valuable peace of mind for that sorts of families that will buy this car. The only variable on this sense would be the four-cylinder petrol engine, because it's lighter compared to six-cylinder petrol and all from the diesels. Although the 25 tons and 30 tons units aren't the punchiest, they lend the F-Pace a significantly keener rate of turn-in. Cars fit in while using optional adaptive dynamic suspension package ride with greater poise versus the standard setup, in particular when fitted with larger wheels. If your financial budget stretches for it, choose this option. You get Land Rover's terrain response system on your wheel drive cars, called adaptive surface response inside the F-Paces case, which adopts that the drivertrain and stability control systems come together to optimize the car to the sort of surface you're driving on. Off-road within the Jaguar F-Pace. We've driven this SUV within the rough stuff and will confirm it's extremely capable, tackling far tougher terrain than Porsche dared to subject the Macan to when it was launched. You'd expect that, frankly, because don't forget this would be the same organization that builds the Land Rovers contributing the field in this particular respect. You don't get quite as many off-road centric features while traveling by a Jaguar and you could hardly refer to it lacking either. We were particularly impressed together with the all-surface progress control, ASPC, system, which acts like cruise control for off-road driving. Set it to the speed nearly 19 miles per hour and yes it'll take care with the car's speed to suit your needs, resulting in to operate the steering. Cabin is stylish and well assembled. Material quality feels inferior to rivals, though. In-Control Touch Pro Multimedia System Impresses At first glance, the Jaguar F-Pace's cabin appears to be a very smart place to become. The front seat occupants are circled with the same high shoulder line, the Reva hoop in Jaguar speak, seen within the X, but this is the bigger car and therefore it feels like it functions better here. It's less claustrophobic so helping the driver to feel more ensconced inside the experience of driving. What disappoints is the quality of some in the materials feels lacking to get a car this expensive, by incorporating frankly cheap plastics dotted about. It doesn't change the whole cabin, you will find expenses of sentimental leather and well damped switch gear, however it doesn't freak to be as expensive because Stuart is rivals. It's readily available a good driving position due to highly adjustable seats plus a steering wheel that moves in four directions. We were particularly impressed using the in-control touch pro touch screen multimedia system. Jaguar has utilized a far more responsive screen and yes it's fantastic to use, but even though the computers behind the scenes convey more memory and processing power, they still take just a little while to get started on initial fire up. You have to wait minutes before you're competent to enter navigation instructions, for instance. Refined interior ambience isolates passengers. Larger engines still burble to the cabin. Avoid larger wheels to improve comfort. In general this can be an area the place that the F-Pace excels. It's a brilliantly engineered chassis and you're well insulated from your elements inside cabin. There isn't a huge number of engine or road noise, 
though you'll definitely hear that V6 petrol engine sing, as well as it's an exceptionally serene place to get. Not only would we propose you think cautiously about the size alloy wheels you determine to order with the F-Pace, the two main inch items using lower profile tires don't provide same ride comfort or composure enjoyed on smaller rim sizes, we might recommend the optional adaptive suspension system to improve comfort. High quantities of standard kit throughout the range. All have electric seats, DAB radio and alloy wheels. Wide array of pricey options to select from. There are four numbers of trim hierarchy inside F-Pace range that follow Jaguar's current conventions of Prestige, R-Sport, Portfolio and S. Standard Jaguar F-Pace SUV equipment. Even on the entry point in the trim structure the Prestige has a lot of kit being offered. Starting with all the cabin, you receive 8-way adjustable heated leather front seats as well as an automatically dimming rear view mirror, dual zone climate control manual tire reach and rake adjustment, 40 hours 20 minutes 40 seconds split rear seats, 3 12 volt power sockets and 2 USBs. Infotainment is dealt with using Jaguar's in-control touch sat-nav system, which features an 8.0 inch touch screen along with all the corresponding connect pack, meaning Wi-Fi in addition to a suite of apps to further improve your car's connectivity on the internet. Bluetooth and dub radio are standard too and sound is fed using an 80 watt speaker system. Exterior features for the lowest spec F-Pace include 18 inch alloy wheels, halogen headlights, lead tail lamps, automation with the lights and wipers, roof rails as well as a powered bootlet. Front and rear parking sensors feature also. Moving nearly our sport trim adds the subsequent to prestige models, 19 inch alloys, sports perforated front seats. Special R-Sport back and front bumpers, Xenon headlights with washer jets, an R-Sport multifunction tire, metallic sports pedals, a black headliner and chrome finishing to the central console surround. You also can make the jump from prestige to portfolio, this means different 19-inch wheels in conjunction with 10-way luxury leather seats, the Jaguar Leaper logo embossed within the headrests, a heated front screen, a panoramic glass sunroof, Xenon headlamps with washer jets, 380 watt meridian speakers, a rear view camera and premium carpet mats. A step up from R Sport is S, which comes which has a choice of petrol or diesel 3.0 litre V6 S and nets you adaptive suspension, 20 inch alloys, performance brakes, sports leather perforated seats, a heated front screen and washer jets, power folding door mirrors, keyless entry, the meridian head unit mentioned above and also a rear view camera. Optional Jaguar F-Pace SUV Accessories There's an enormous choice of optional extras you are able to specify to personalize your F-Pace more wish, but be attentive to how quickly the expense can escalate. You can specify from your wide palette of metallic paints, interior color schemes and alloy wheels around 22 inches in diameter. Nighttime visibility might be improved together with the available fully adaptive LED headlamps, while occupants will be capable of seeing out even better having a choice of fixed and opening panoramic glass roofs. Even more cosseting electrically adjustable sports and luxury front seats may be fitted, aforementioned with winged headrests, while comforts further amplified through the four-zone climate control option. A Meridian head unit upgrade is available for your multimedia system as is really a television function using a dual view touch screen to allow for the passengers to observe it as you move the driver sees the sat nav. Wearable tech makes an appearance using the activity key, a rubberized wristband that permits keyless entry without needing to find somewhere to disguise it securely after you go wakeboarding. Of all from the options, the main one we'd recommend essentially the most strongly would be the adaptive suspension system, especially when you do intend to get the larger alloys fitted. Ride quality will improve significantly on this extra. 5 star rating when tested by Euron Cap. Lots of latest driver assistance kit. Many F Paces feature four driven wheels. When the F Pace was crash tested by Euron Cap for the end of 2019, it achieved the full 5 star score. This wasn't a surprise because of the Jaguar's safety kit ensemble is impressive, even base prestige trim. Standard systems include lane departure warning, autonomous emergency braking, 
traffic sign recognition, including a brilliant speed limiter, front and back parking sensors, keyless ignition, whiplash protection for front seats and ISOFIX child seat lashing points inside rear. Plus, let's keep in mind, this is undoubtedly an SUV, so all models benefit coming from a more commanding view with the road ahead than you'll experience of one of Jaguar's traditional saloons and all-wheel drive is designed to many models within the range. Sporty and luxurious having nods of practicality. Enormous boot seats around. Getting into the back requires agility. The cabin features a amount of storage spaces including door pockets with space for giant bottles. As you move the central storage cubby is large and houses USB and 12 volt connections together with HDMI connections where specified as optional extras. You've got the choice of reclining rear seats at the same time, adding further luxury to your passengers. We found access towards the rear a small bit cumbersome because with the huge wheel latches, but there's a good amount of headroom for four occupants to stay in comfort. The Jaguar Ref Pace is an amazing bit longer and taller when compared to a normal hatchback thus it'd be well worth measuring your garage or driveway to produce sure it'll fit. That said it's smaller when compared to a 7-seat SUV just like the Audi Q7 or Mercedes-Benz GLS. The Jaguar Ref Pace continues to be built with practicality at heart, plus it shows. It has a 650 litre boot accessed by using a standard powered tailgate and rear seats that fold almost, however, not quite, flat inside a 40 hours 20 minutes 40 seconds split, which suggests you're capable of load longer items of nearly 1.8 meters into the auto. A pair of skis shouldn't be an issue, as an example. Its load space expands to some total of 8,740 litres using the rear seats folded, as the boot floor is reversible and rubberized on one hand for easy cleaning after loading sports equipment or pets.